afraid that I do not have COVID because I cannot. I, I mean, if it is, it is. And I, I don't really have a choice. But I pray that I don't have to go through this again. So, I'm going to get a rapid test and see what is going on and I hope all comes back clear but regardless I feel like pure crap I told you guys that these vlogs would be real life they would be very raw and I haven't vlogged in a while so I still have work to do regardless of how I feel I need to go into my regular job, but right now I cannot because I'm having bouts of shortness of breath. And I feel another one coming on, so therefore I'm going to get off of here. And I'm going to come back with either a thumbs up or a thumbs down. See y'all when I see you. Hey guys, yeah, it's dark in this part of the vlog. I'm in the dark watching TV. So, um, excuse my voice and everything. Yeah, I've been a little teary-eyed because I took a PCR test with Kaiser and, um, unfortunately, it's positive. Um, I am asthmatic, so that kind of freaks me out just a little bit, um, I've been a little winded today. I've actually been very winded. Um, I'm a lot better this evening than I was in the morning, but I have quite a bit of congestion. Um, my voice goes in and out. I have a sore throat, a cough, mild fever. Um, so yeah, uh, that is what is going on. So I apologize if this video is dark. But I don't really want anybody to see my puffy eyes. But know that all is going to be well. I am just a little emotional because I have gone through this once before. And COVID scares the hell out of me. But, um, yeah, it's going to be alright. But I just getting over the shock of the fact that once again, here we go. Uh, but it is nowhere near what it was the last time that I had it. So please, if you can, just say a prayer. Hopefully by the time y'all see this vlog, I'll be better and back to normal. And uh, I'm going to hit y'all back uh, when I can. What up, YouTube? It's Jen, just checking in. So, <coughs> excuse me. Um, just checking in. Today is a little bit better. But I am extremely, extremely tired. I'm so worn out and so exhausted. And I just feel completely wiped out. My breathing is okay. I get shortness of breath here and there, but I'm okay. But for the most part, I'm just really, really tired. Um, super fatigued. So anyway, um, I just wanted to check in. Like I said, this vlog will be real raw and to the point. Um, and I was going to vlog anyway, but why not just vlog what's going on, you know? Um, I also have a little bit of brain fog where my words don't really come clearly. But other than that, I'm just laying down and resting. The rest of my family seems fine. My kids seem fine. Uh, my parents seem fine. My siblings seems fine. So uh, I hope all of you are doing well. And just a word to the wise. Be as safe as you can. There's really no way to fully protect yourself from this. Excuse me. This is my second bout with COVID. And um, this time it doesn't seem anywhere near as bad as the first time. Um, the first time really, really hit me hard. And uh, I feel like there's no way to really protect yourself. Because I've had both of my vaccinations. And I've had 
one of my boosters. And the first time around, excuse me, like I said, I'm tired. But the first time around that I had COVID, um, we were still under the mask mandate here in Georgia. And I did wear my mask full time. Um, I would come home and kind of like decontaminate. I would throw my clothes from the shop into a um, a basket and I would shower right away. I would make sure that my child was showered and bathed. But, yeah, so, um, yeah, um, just be as safe as you can. Make sure you still, you know, you're washing your hands, which you're supposed to anyway. But make sure you wash your hands to the nth degree. Make sure you're sanitizing, disinfecting your surfaces. I mean, that's all we really can do because it's in the air. So, at this point, it's kind of like, for me, um, I stay in the house for an entire year outside of going to work. Um, and that's another symptom I have. I keep burping. It's crazy. Um, but outside of going to work, um, I stay in the house. I didn't go into any outings, public events, anything. This summer is the first time I've been to anything public. You know, me and my son just did the Beach Street Road Race at the beginning of the month. Um, I've been to my brother's cigar lounge a couple of times. But other than that, I've still been trying to, like, be as safe as I could. But, I mean... I am a hairstylist, so I had to be up around people. So, excuse me. Um, I really can't, quote unquote, protect myself um, too much. I mean, I, I can only do what I can do um, because I do have to be around the public. And you never know who's sitting in your chair and who has it because they could be asymptomatic, pass it on to you, and then you can have symptoms. So, um, you just never know. I mean, for all we know, I could have had it. Uh, another time before now and not even had symptoms so who knows but just as be, be as safe as you can use your common sense um you know do what you feel is right for you that's all i can really say but i hope everybody's being safe and i'm probably gonna take another nap i've been on and off sleeping for the last two days because like i said this has hit me like a ton of freaking bricks and i am exhausted so i'm probably just gonna lay down i hope you guys are being safe um, I do have a little bit of a fever, but yeah, um, but I'm here and for the better, but pretty much I'm okay. Mm. It don't seem like it cause you're like, man, COVID, you know, but I'm okay. All right. But anyway, y'all be safe out there. I'll be back when I be back. Hey, what's up y'all? Today is Friday. Um, it's about day three or four of, really it's day five of having active symptoms of COVID. But as you guys can see, I'm still kind of going through my face the last time. Yes, I got on my raggedy headscarf. It keeps my locks together. Don't come for me in the comments. It is what it is. Right now, we are just about survival. Um, and I have on my, my pajamas, my old lady sleeping shirt, whatever. I'm not showing my background because my room is junky. Because I have literally been just trying to survive these last four days. My skin is breaking out. As you can see, I did a scrub on my face last night. And, um, I scrubbed and, and toned my face. I didn't really do a full facial. But the last time that I had COVID, yeah, I got on all this stuff. The last time I had COVID, my face broke out. It's like COVID just sucks up all the moisture in my face. Usually, my nose and everything here is shiny because I'm oily. But I'm like, oh, shoot. Sorry. I'm out of it, y'all. But, um, yeah, uh, my face, it's almost like having sunburn. This is what happened the last time that I had COVID. So, it's here. It's here, and it's like peeling. Um, it's all on my nose. It's like peeling all around my mouth, everything. Um, so it's almost like having a sunburn. But yeah, I just want to check in. Um, I'm going to take a shower and put on some fresh clothes and clean up a little bit. And I'll be back. Okay. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Jen. And yes, it's early. It's early o'clock. It's a little bit before 7 o'clock, and this is what I'm doing to start my day. Yeah, my voice is gravelly. I know. But this is what I do every morning to start my day. I turn on the news so I can find out what's going on in the world. 
But first, before I've even gotten up, usually my body wakes me up about 10 minutes before I have to go to work. I get up and I say my prayers. In my mind, I set my intentions for the day. Yes, it's dark, but this is real life. So, let's get our week started. Today is Monday, August the 1st. And we're going to get ready for work and the baby. Thing one, ready for daycare. Here we go. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Jen. Yeah, I know my hair look crazy. So, I have gotten dressed and showered for work today. I washed my hair in the shower, so that is why I am looking a little crazy. Um, it's drying, and I am standing here making me some lunch. Let me show you. So, I'm about to make me a turkey breast sandwich. Got my bread. That's the empty box I got thrown away. And I got my cheese. And I'm going to have a side of cucumbers with that. I got my sugar-free Gatorade. I got a couple of waters. I have, I'm going to be away from the house for about 10 hours today. So I also have, um, I think I'm just going to take one thing of these. These are some sugar-free, um, sugar-free dole, grapefruit. Actually, they're not sugar-free. They're supposed to be sugar-free, but they didn't have them. Um, Instacart replaced them. So 100% juice, uh, grapefruit um, for a little snack. Um, so I'm gonna drop that in my bag. Boom, boom, boom. And I also, um, have a Lean Cuisine down there. Let me show you what I got. Bam. Okay, so, yeah, I'm trying to eat a little bit better. And, um, don't judge me. Comments, because, hey, this is better than a McDonald's breakfast. And the skin is glowing. It's giving. It's giving. Um, it's giving. We recovered from COVID and we back to business. So, I'm gonna talk to y'all for a minute while I'm making this sandwich. I'll prop y'all up here on my oven. That works. Okay, cool. We look pretty good. Wait, okay. Uh, okay, cool. So, uh, I'm going to make my sandwich real quick. But yeah, um, that's what's going on with me. So today is Monday. We're trying to make sure that we set our intentions and keep things, you know, on point. Um, so I'm trying to make small changes every day. Y'all, I hate, I hate, I hate when you undo the bread and then you have to look for the twist side. Like you laid it down somewhere and you can't freaking find it. And also, did y'all know that these twist sides are cold for like when, how fresh or not fresh your bread may be? Like, um, so when you go to the grocery store, Hold on, y'all. I'm looking for my mustard. I know I bought mustard, and I know it's in here. But where is the question? My sir. Have you seen the mustard? No. All right. Like, yo, I know we got mustard. I'm tripping, y'all. Because I know we got mustard. And I'm getting very frustrated. Because my, my man child put it in the fridge, I thought. Okay, I don't know where it's at. Yep, oh. Y'all, this is how I ain't playing this, and I know people like film stuff and they like film little funny stuff in their video. That was a real life moment. I literally was just looking for the mustard that I took out of the refrigerator. Don't judge me. Um, I am still very mentally exhausted from Mr. COVID. Um, My brain kind of feels like it's in a little bit of a of a fog, which if if anybody that knows me in real life, you know that I actually have brain fog from having COVID a year ago, and now after getting COVID again a second time, and now I am negative. I won't say I'm fully recovered, but I'm negative. 
um, I have brain fog once again. So, that's a little frustrating. But, I'm here. So, I'm grateful. Y'all that live in the South, do y'all get with gnats, man? Gnats are the freaking worst. They're like... They're like that annoying cousin that came to the barbecue and didn't bring nothing. They just come to eat up everything. But every time... Yes, I just opened it with my teeth. I don't, don't want to hear it. I'm in, in a little bit of a rush and I'm still trying to give y'all some content. Um, so yeah, gnats are like the friend that comes to the bar, the, the family member that comes to the barbecue that don't never bring shit. Like, it's crazy. But yeah, so I'm getting ready for work. I actually need to eat some actual food. While I'm here. Got my little sandwich bag. Being a little... And low key, I might eat this sandwich before I go to work. <clears throat> and I might save my lean cuisine and my fruit for later. I think that's what I might do. I think I'm going to just take my fruit and stuff. I'm going to save my lean cuisine for later. I got two waters. I'm going to put these back. Actually, I'm going to save these for dinner. I got some um, spinach and stuff, and I'm actually going to be making a salad for Din Din. Yay! All right, so we got this pack up. I'm gonna smish my sandwich. So there is that. so discombobulated it ain't even funny like all jokes aside I legit feel discombobulated we gonna make us a little bit of nice coffee Shout out to Gina Janine because she put me on, baby. Now, I do like drinking a little bit of um, of uh, Starbucks, but this is called Stoke Cold Brew Coffee. If you can see, this is the unsweet black. Okay. So, I got my coffee cup. That's what I use for my coffee. Because it's easy and it has a little um, top with a straw on it. Yes, I do a lot of stuff with my teeth. Don't worry about it because you ain't got to eat from it. How about that? Yo, this is like low-key hard to open and it's pissing me off. today trying to get my life together I'm just doing what I can and if you hear that noise in the background that will be the little I'm about to drop that dude off at daycare and then I guess I'm gonna chill and probably talk to y'all after I drop him off at daycare um, for a minute while I'm running a few errands. So there goes my stoke. Ooh, ooh, ooh y'all like that, huh? Okay. And for my creamer, I have doo -doo -doo, 
zero sugar zero sugar creamer this is fresh oh this is international delight zero sugar creamer yo chill out hey put them toys up we finna go we're about to go Okay, that is wonderful. Tell, tell Lightning McQueen you see him later. Tell Lightning McQueen. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need you to go clean up your toys right now. Go clean up your toys. I cleaned up my toys. Okay, so Lightning McQueen needs to, them little action figures need to go back. Go get go in my in my room. You got action figures on the side of my bed. Go get them now. Go get them now. I don't want to do too much. All right. Go. Go put those in your room. I don't want to talk about them, baby. Just put them in your room. Thank you. Appreciate you. Mm -hmm. Put them in your room. Alright, so by making my little iced coffee, bam, 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 I just said, hey, 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 I'm vlogging. Um, I just saved about um, seven, eight dollars. I'm starting this thing during the week where certain days I just don't um, spend any money. Just trying to save, you know? Um, because I was just informed by the bestie that um, there's an event in October with the um, the Ghost Brothers. Um, they're doing um, I guess they're doing like their October, their Halloween thing in Savannah. Savannah is only about three hours from me. But y'all know I'm originally from Chicago, so my bestie lives there and um, it'd be a cool event for us to experience and also a cool event for us to go to together, have fun. Plus, I have not seen her in person in about, mm, it's been about 15 years since I've actually seen her. So it'd be really cool to hang out with my best friend. Hold on, y'all. I'm checking the time. And it's about time for us to walk out the dough. The dizzo, the dizzo. Time to walk out the dizzo, the dizzo. December, come get this Capri Sun thing off my floor now. Right now. Come get this Capri Sun off my... All right, go ahead. Go put it in trash. Thank you. Go. It's time to roll out, dude. All right, so we have our purse, we have our keys, we have our charger. What am I missing? Hey, 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 shh, shh. Okay, leave that in your room, please. Thank you. I said, room, please. Thank you. Get your stuff. Hit the hit the door. Hit the, hit the hit the lights. Let's go. All right, y'all. So I'll be back because I have a lot of stuff to carry. So I'll check in with y'all in a minute. Bye. Yo, what up? Okay, I'm back. So I dropped off the little. Yes, I still have these clips in my hair. Yes, I went in there with these clips in my hair. Um, <laughs> my hair is still wet. If you're part of the lock gang, you already know. It takes these things a minute to dry. And I don't always like sitting under the dryer because then it actually sucks the moisture out of my locks. And so I like for them to kind of dry naturally. Um, I do pat them dry to get the excess water out so that my locks aren't just wet all day long. 
and at some point I will probably if they're still really wet when I get to work I probably will pop my head up on the dryer for about five minutes but I don't really like for my locks to dry all the way up under the dryer I kind of like for nature to do its job and I ain't even checked my mouth before I came back on here so I just ate my little sandwich because y'all I'm hungry <laughs> And I'm drinking my coffee, so that was my little morning whatever. Um, that coffee is hitting. Shout out to Jean and Janine for putting us on to that Stoke. Because you can buy it in the grocery store. And um, I bought two, uh, two bottles of it because this is back to school week. Um, like I mentioned before, I am a hairdresser. And I do work at a very high volume salon, so therefore, um, I need all the caffeine I can get. Plus, like I said, this is my first day back to work after having COVID. Um, I did test myself several times. I tested my kids. Everybody's negative. Everybody's good. But if you have, if you are a COVID survivor, um, you know that um, trying to bounce back after having COVID is is a little bit of a of a task. So now, I am currently on my way to my little one's future elementary school. Ugh, I can't believe I'm saying that. My baby's about to go to elementary school. He's going to kindergarten. Um, so I can pick up whatever paperwork I need to um, have so that I can register him for school. Uh, my goal was to do this on last week. And today is actually open house. But unfortunately, I am... Uh, not able to go to open house because I'm ripping and running just trying to get myself to work um, So I'm gonna try my best to do that tomorrow, but I don't know if that's possible um, But I might do something because I need to know where to go And I want my son to be able to go into the school so he can see like what's going on and whatever whatever um, But anyway Uh if my job allows me to, I would love to, like, hop over here real quick, go to open house, say hey to the teachers, let him meet the teachers, and then, like, maybe have my dad meet me up there to get my son. I don't know. I'm going to have to figure it out because I'm supposed to work 11 to 7 today, and open house is from 4 to 7. So, I need to make myself be in two places at one time. And the other thing I need to be doing is taking these clips out of my head. So the first impressions at this school, people won't be looking at me too crazy. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of multitasking that goes on in my life, guys. There's a lot of multitasking. If you are a mama, shout out to you. Um, all moms are, are amazing. If you are a single mama, double shout out to you because you literally have to be 17 people. Um, at one time so make sure I get all the clips out of my head I'll be going in there and they'll be like look at this ratchet mama um, but anyway uh, today I just have on a today's outfit of the day I didn't get in the mirror but I'll try to get in the mirror when I get to work I just have on a black shirt um, some jeggings that I got from Walmart like years ago I always wear them when we have days when we wear jeans to work. And then I have on some like little black ankle socks and uh, some little fatigue canvas shoes. Little like um, closed toe fatigue canvas shoes. Uh, I actually, my mom actually gave me these shoes because she said she can't wear them and they're really cute and they're actually my size. Um, I wear a size 11 shoe, so anytime I can find a cute shoe that is comfortable, yay. Um, but she gave me these the other day, and she was like, I can't wear these. I don't know where you would wear these or if you like them. And I was like, love them, because one, free. Two, cute. Three, they're my size. Um, so they actually came in handy today, because today, every day of the week, we're doing like spirit week at our shop. And so today was um, funny shoes day, and I thought those were just cool and fun. And they are super heck of comfortable. So, yay. I think I have like one or two more little clips in my head. Okay, so that's where the buses go. So this is where the parents go. 
visitor parking? I don't know. Am I considered a visitor? Ah, I just pulled my hair. Jesus, what? Um, I don't know where to... I guess I pull in here and park. I have no idea. Okay, the arrow's pointing that way. So I guess... Yo, I don't know. Okay, so I guess I'll park in visitor parking. I'm a visitor today. <laughs> Alright, so... Yeah. I'm not sure if the mask is required or not. But yeah. But I'm getting ready to go into my baby's new school and see what's going on. Ooh, I'm glad I looked. Because, child, I had one more clip. Y'all weren't even going to tell me what, y'all. I had clips in right there. Y'all weren't even going to. Y'all just going to let me be. Okay, so her hair is it's giving a little bit of I tried a little bit. It's giving I tried. So yeah. Um but we finna hop up into this uh the school real quick and see what's going on. See can I get my baby situated and what all I need to do. Cause man, y'all, I'm like a week behind trying to get my life together. So anyway. Alright, so let me get in here and get to getting. All right, and I will check in, uh, check in with y'all a little bit later. All right, peace. All right, y'all. So I just went to my son's in school, and I got some information, and so I am running to try and get all of his stuff situated so um so begins the mad dash um so i'm running let me put y'all back up put y'all seat belt back on so i'm running to try and get that done um whew. this is gonna be crazy this is gonna be a crazy day and i'm just gonna pray that god keeps me sane and calm and relaxed and all those good things so if I don't get back for a minute you know a mama was running the handle business so alright so I will check in with y'all when I get a chance but I am off to the mad dash alright check in with y'all later Hey y'all, so I'm just checking in, um, let you know how my day is going, and uh, crazy is an understatement. My shop is slammed because today is open house for all the kids, um, elementary, middle, and high school. Um, so my high school is going to um, open house with grandma, because he knows the drill, and uh, I'm going to get my baby, to take my baby to open house um, for kindergarten so i'm leaving work to take him to open house uh then the grandparents are gonna get him and then i'm going back to work after that so yeah man i have been hitting it since i got to work uh i have not eaten anything else i'm glad i had that sandwich earlier because i don't know when i might eat again um but yeah so it is a monday it is nuts and oh my gosh it's crazy and my hair is doing some interesting things. Um, I do kind of like, though, having a little bit of height in my locks in the top. So I kind of like when they get a little frizzy at the roots. And then I like how this has length and it kind of hangs. So it kind of gives you that, that full look or whatever. So that's kind of cool. But anyway, other than that, um, I'm just running around like a chicken with my head cut off. And that's pretty much it. But I hope y'all are having an awesome, wonderful, um, fantastic day. And, um, yeah, that's really it. Um, it's a little dreary. It was raining. It looked like it's about to rain again. That kind of sucks. But, I mean, it's Georgia weather, so what can you do? Um, but other than that, yeah, that's really it. So, I'm rushing. I'm rushing. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey 
Hey y'all, so I'm back. So, mission accomplished. The child is registered for school. A day in the life of a busy mom, like for real. Um, so I am rushing to try and grab something to eat. I'm so pissed because stupid me. I brought my lunch, like I said, y'all. I brought a frozen dinner, not thinking like, hey, stupid, you have to run and do this, and that's basically gonna be your lunch break, and you're not gonna have time to eat. So I'm rushing to grab something, and I'm gonna eat it on my way back to work. And oh my god, it's about to be nuts. Um, but anyway, yeah, man, I got the little one registered for school. Um, my big one went to his open house. So yeah, so I am. Um, I feel very accomplished. Um, but other than that, um, yeah, I just. Um, just running, running, running. <laughs> I'm, I'm tired because this is my first day out since having COVID. If you saw the beginning of this vlog, you saw when I actually was still um, in the midst of being positive with COVID a couple of days ago. Uh, well, I don't even know if I was still positive then, but I still felt the effects. I still feel the effects today. I know for a fact that I'm negative. Now, if you hear me wheeze in this um, vlog, do not be alarmed because I am uh, asthmatic. So, I wheeze from time to time anyway, and right now it's very humid, and it is um, quite hot outside. It's about 90 degrees. And to that, that I had COVID, and COVID made me wheeze just a little bit. Um, the breathing part wasn't so bad. It was kind of like a fat kid sitting on your chest, and for a person that's asthmatic, that's not as bad as it could be. The first time around that I had COVID was absolute hell. Um, and I... Um, I, I really, I prayed to God that, you know, that God would keep me. That's how bad the first time around was back in February of 2021. Um, so now, after having it July 2022, uh, yeah, um, basically it just sucked all the energy out of me. Like, I'm so freaking tired. I really could go take a nap. Uh, I went into work. Work was busy. Um, I did quite a few clients this morning and then I had a perm right before I left and it was a mad dash to get that perm finished get over here to be able to do this and then um, go do what I need to do for my son y'all it tap in if y'all are have kids that are going back to school after COVID um, as you know as many y'all know like everybody's going back now after COVID um So it's crazy because with everybody going back, everything is crowded. Everything is overcrowded. Um, I don't know why. I don't know what the difference is, but things are overcrowded. Uh, the people that were at my son's new school were saying they have never seen it like this before, ever. So I'm just assuming that it's from COVID. <laughs> Yeah, so everybody is back in full force and it is nuts. Um, there was no parking. I actually had to put park in the bus lane just to just to park and get out of my car because there was no parking. People were parking all on the curb, on the grass, like it was nuts. You would have thought these kids were at a high school graduation versus registering for school. So but yeah, so it's been a little nuts and I am very tired. I am quite exhausted. I really want to go take a nap. Uh, but I can't because guess what? I got to go back to work. So part two. Right. Round two of the craziness. Hopefully it would have slowed down today because most people's open house for my county was from four to seven today. So hopefully after I get back to work either people are still on their way to the open house or they already went so yeah so yeah that's what's up um, so I check in with y'all later okay. hey what up what's going on YouTube <laughs> yeah my hair is doing weird things but I kind of like it um just give me hippie vibes so I am now home. Um, I am getting ready to make me a salad. Let me show you what I got. So I got some baby spinach. 
feeds my trash. Okay, so I got some baby spinach. Okay, I got some carved, grilled carved turkey breast. We're gonna see what that does. I got some tomatoes. I got some cucumbers. I got a little bit of cheese, and I am going to do some of this that I got from the store. We'll see if I really like it or not. This Panera bread Mediterranean lemon is something that the Instacart picked. I didn't really kick pick that, but hopefully give my salad a little bit of kick. So that's what we're doing tonight. So yeah, um, it's been a long, crazy, uh, nutso kind of day. And it's about 10 o'clock at night. Uh, I'm not one trying to eat nothing too heavy. So that's why I'm making me a big salad. So that I can have some more in the morning. So yeah. So that was my Monday. Um, thank you for watching this vlog so far. And I'm going to keep on continuing on. Um, yes, I'm going to be doing full body. Like, I guess get ready with me in the morning maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Because I got to get up early. So we'll see. Um, I had to be at the shop at 9. So I'm working 9 to 5 tomorrow. So, man, i tired. But, um, yeah, today was a good day. Um, connected with some really great people at work. Got a couple of new clients. We did a lot of kids because, as I said, today was open house day. Um, but other than that, um, y'all, I'm tired because I've been going since about mm, 6.30 this morning. <sighs> and I'm just not eating dinner. I'm trying to do better. Um, I did cheat and I ate McDonald's today instead of my lean cuisine. But that was because um, when I went to open house, I didn't think about the fact that, duh, I can't eat a, a, um, a frozen dinner, even if it is, you know, a frozen dinner that's, um, you know, uh, healthy. I can't eat that while I'm driving. So I had to stop and grab some McDonald's. It was nasty. I regret it. So, yeah. So it is what it is, y'all. But if you could tell, I'm tired. I'm really fighting to keep my eyes open. But I'm going to make this salad chill out, clean the kitchen, finish this uh, laundry, and then off to bed for me. So I hope y'all had a good day. Um, this is just me running around on a Monday. Tomorrow's Tuesday, and I'll be back at it in the a.m. All right? What's up, YouTube? My locks are crazy. Yeah, so I'm getting ready to go to bed. It is about 11.48. It's almost midnight. I had to be working 9 o'clock. Why am I up right now? Like, I ain't got to go to work tomorrow. But anyway, I'm a little tired. I'm going to lay out my clothes for tomorrow. I already have my son's stuff laid out for tomorrow. Don't mind my mess that's in the background. Don't be trying to screenshot myself. Um, I'm going through a bunch of um, paperwork and stuff because I'm going to set my um, vanity up over there in the corner. But I got to get rid of a table and I'm going through this paperwork. I am legit like tearing up my house y'all know how you do like right before you get ready to move okay so i shouldn't have did that with my locks because they are really wow i've been sitting here trying to twist my roots and now they're being stupid i should have left it alone but anyway y'all know how when you get ready to move you um try to organize your stuff or whatever and like um you know, throw stuff away or whatever. So I'm not in the process of moving right this second, but um, I'm just putting in the atmosphere that I will move before spring 2023 because they're going up on my rent. I'm not happy with where I live. Um, let me rephrase that. It's not that I'm not happy with where I live. It's okay, but I would like to be somewhere else. So let me grab this call, but I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye. I am taking my baby to his very first day of school. Um, sorry, I had to undo my seatbelt for a minute because it was twisted. But um, my little one is going to his very first day of kindergarten. So yes, it's very dark this morning. We're doing a lot of late nights and early mornings where I am. Um, but yeah, my little one starts kindergarten this morning. My big one starts 10th grade. So, I am on the way to drop off the first one, and I'm going to check in with the big one in just a little bit. Yeah, I can't believe my baby is starting kindergarten. Are you excited? Yeah. 
That's him back there. Y'all can't really see him. Excuse me. Yeah, I got a tassel on my rearview mirror. Y'all don't come for me. If you over 40 and you've ever put a uh, graduation tassel on your on your rearview mirror, um, give me a shout out in comments real quick. <laughs> if you are, if you are 80s baby, if you are 70s or 80s baby, and you've ever put a tassel on your rearview mirror in your car, give me a shout out. Um, so December is ready to go to school. We've got our lunch packs. We've got our clothes together. We cute this morning. Yeah. So I am very, very excited for my booba. Um, and uh, I'm a little, I'm in my feels a little bit, but I'm very excited for him in this new chapter of his life being a big boy. Um, so yeah. School's only about five minutes away from my house, but after going to open house the other day and seeing the melee and craziness, I decided that I would leave early. Um, so, yeah. So, there's that. But anyway, uh, we are, like, super early for school, but rather to be super early than super late, right? There is legit almost nobody here, y'all. That's how early we are. Hey, so I am back. I changed my shirt because I realized I don't have to be at work until later. Good morning, good morning, good morning, YouTube. It is Friday, August the 5th. I just dropped off my little and I am getting ready to run a quick errand over um, at my parents' house and I'm headed into work. Um, today is a national freaking holiday, y'all. It's my best friend's birthday. It's my sister's birthday. We've been down since, like, the fourth grade, 30 plus years of friendship and love and trust and honesty and just straightforwardness and support, y'all. And this person is the closest person to me that didn't come out of the same womb. Her name is Jewel Ruby. You can check out her site, JR Media Chicago. Okay? Check that out for all your media needs. She helps people to edit their books. She does all sorts of logos for all sorts of businesses. Um, she can help you do, uh, if you're having an event and you need a poster, she can help you do all sorts of designs. She can help you with your websites. You name it, if it is a media-related need, she got you. So check her out. Um, if you love me, you got to love her. So go by her site, check out her work, and um, holler her for some business. JR Media Chicago, all right? Um, so that was the first thing I wanted to get off of the roster. Second thing is, uh, today is a wonderful, beautiful day. It's a Friday. I'm about to get in here, cut some hair, and make some money. Uh, this is the first day since recovering from COVID and being back at work that I'm starting to feel like myself and have a little bit more energy. I was off yesterday, so I didn't really vlog much. Um, I just did a lot of running around and last minute stuff. But other than that, y'all, like, I just, I kind of just rested. Um, I had some things I needed to take care of, but I just, you know, I kind of recouped. It was... You know, it wasn't a Sunday, but that was my reset day, and I take them how I can. I work a full-time flex schedule, so Sundays are not always a reset day for me. A lot of times, Sunday is a work day. A lot of times, I work 10 to 5s on Sundays. So, it end up, ends up being where I have to reset when I can reset. So, yeah, um, I brought my lunch again, and once again, I am I'm about that stoked coffee life. Um... If you're not familiar with Stoke, it's spelled S-T-O-K. You can get it out of... I get mine out of Kroger. I'm, I'm sure they probably sell it at other um, grocery stores. But I have that. I have the non-sweet uh, black coffee. And then I have paired that with the French vanilla... I think it's... was it? International Delight. Uh, the the uh, no sugar French vanilla. Um, I just... A little dollop of that. Not much. Um... And then, for lunch, I have some cucumbers that I put Italian dressing on last night, and I let it sit and soak up overnight. Uh, I have that. 
uh, some chicken and rice, and then I have a sandwich and a fruit cup. Now, the reason why I pack all of that is because right now it is about, it's maybe about close to 7.30. I won't get back home after going to work, picking up my kids and all that, till probably close to 7 o'clock. So, I'm away from the house for about 12 hours. So, to keep me from buying a bunch of food and spending a lot of money, I try to make my lunch at home. Um, so, uh, it's not just lunch. It's like lunch and some snacks. And then I also have some waters, uh, a sugar-free tea. If you didn't know, which I didn't know, Snapple makes a sugar-free diet tea. And it actually tastes pretty good. It's not as sweet as a regular Snapple, of course. But it's not as uh, tart as, say, a sugar-free Gatorade. Which I also have one of those in there, too. And a couple of waters. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, man, today is just the first day that I, I started to feel like myself since recovering from COVID. So, I'm excited. I'm excited for this day. I'm excited. The sun is out. We're breathing. Man, no matter what you're going through, like, and I know it's easy to say keep pushing it's easy to look at somebody and say keep pushing because you never know what somebody's circumstances are but i make a conscious decision if you follow me on tiktok maybe about a week ago when i first got covid um i don't know maybe no it wasn't a week ago when i first got covid it was it was before then but i i did i did go on live and i was talking about being intentionally happy and what I mean by that is not just like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I'm going to just smile all day and be goofy and just fake a smile. That's not what I mean. I mean, get up in the morning and as soon as your feet touch the floor, thank God that your feet can touch the floor and you woke up and you're breathing and you're in your sound mind and body. Um, that's a blessing. It's a gift. It's a blessing and we should never, ever take it for granted. Um... My sister and I talk about this a lot, um, that we do not take any day or any moment for granted because we have lost people. We have lost, uh, she especially, um, we lost a close friend some years ago. She's lost some family members. Um, she, she was in a bad car accident last year. Just a lot has happened. And then yesterday, um, she let me know that one of our uh, grade school classmates had passed away. And this is the thing, y'all. We're in our early 40s. And, you know, things are just happening uh, left and right. So, we are just very, very... We're always very grateful for every single moment. So, I know that things are tough. I get it. Because, trust me, I done been through some stuff. Okay? I know that things can be stressful. Last week, when I found out I had COVID, I was crying buckets. Because I was scared. Okay? Because the first time I had COVID, I didn't think I was going to make it out. And I, I felt like I wasn't going to never get better. I felt like I wasn't going to never breathe regularly again. When I had COVID, I was sick for two months, y'all. So I understand not, um, you know, being in, in a dark place sometimes and feeling like nothing is ever going to get better. I get that. But you have to start by intentionally thanking God for the little things. And the bigger blessings will come. And I, I say that because I know it. I'm not saying it for fluff. I'm not saying it for content. I'm saying it because I know it. I have been through some things. Some of the things will be revealed here on this channel. And some of them I'm going to take to my grave. Uh, some of them only my sister knows. So, uh, But when I tell you that um, it makes a difference. That's what I mean by being intentionally happy regardless of the circumstances i'm gonna thank god anyway you know and that there's it, it's not coming to my mind right now i've had brain fog from covid for the last week or so but there's a gospel song that actually says that uh oh uh oh gosh i know the words are i'm gonna praise him anyway uh what is it what is it uh in the middle of it I think that's the name of the song. In the middle, yeah, something like that. Um, but it, but it, but it basically says, "In the middle of it." Basically, when you're in the middle and in the midst of going through some stuff, praise God anyway. I feel like that's the the purest and one of the most authentic praises. Not that your other praise is fake, 
But it's harder to praise God when you're going through it. It's harder to praise God when things just seem like they are at the bottom. But you know the cool thing about the bottom? Ain't nowhere to go but up. Ain't nowhere to go but up, baby. So, yeah. So, you know, just thank God for the little things. And your bigger blessings, they're going to come. It might take some time. I ain't going to say it's going to be easy. I'm not going to sugarcoat, and I'm not going to BS you. It's not going to be easy, but it's going to come. So hold on to that. But anyway, I just want to check in with y'all and say good morning. Do y'all see the sunlight? Do y'all see it? Yes, I'm loud, and I'm extra, and I'm doing a lot right now because I'm happy. I have joy. I ain't going to say I'm happy. I have joy, okay? I'm joyful because... I get to go to a job that I love. I get to do some hair. I get to meet some new people. I work with some amazing women. Like, I ain't gonna say that everything is all gravy all the time. Sometimes I have a client that may not like my look or I don't know, just don't like me for whatever reason and we don't vibe, but that's okay. Because whatever way they came into my chair, I promise you, they ain't going to leave the same way. They might have came in my chair with a bad attitude, but I, I best believe, baby, they're not going to leave the same way. They're going to leave with a better attitude than what they came with. And that's my goal every day. So I hope that y'all have a wonderful start to y'all Friday. I hope y'all have a blessed and safe Friday. Man, set your intentions. Thank God for everything. And just, you know, go out there and try to do the best you can. Everybody has the same 24 hours and 7 days a week. It's up to you what you do with it. But anyway, I love you. And ain't nothing you can do about it. I'll check in with y'all later.
Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Jen. Um, I am checking in. So let me adjust this real quick. Turn my Bluetooth off, actually. So y'all can hear me loud and clear. Okay. So I wanted to come to y'all with a, um, a situation I just had that was real weird and I found offensive. So um, I've got on my really cool shirt today. Somebody told me it's the day. It's similar to the Dave Matthews Band logo. I don't really care. I like the shirt because it looks different and it has skulls that are doing like pirouettes and ballet and whatnot on it and I think that's pretty dope. Anyway, I like things with skeletons and, and kind of different stuff or whatever. Um, I wouldn't say I'm a fashion girl, but I like things that are unique. Much like myself. So anyway, I just went to Sally's. Sorry if y'all hear a lot of noise. I got my ear up because it's like 95 degrees outside here in Georgia. It's hot. So I just went to Sally's because I'm on the way to go and color my son's hair. And um, I'm bleaching the top of his head. He's got like a, a box fade. And so he does like the blonde on the top. So we're doing that. Anyway, so I go in Sally's and I'm a hairdresser. So I know um, Sally's like the back of my hand. I am, um, I mean like going in Sally's for me is like the average person going to Kroger. You pretty much know where everything's at. Okay, so I go in there. Um, you know, I speak because I always speak. Hi, welcome, Sally's. I say, hi, how you doing? Is there anything I can help you find? I said, no, no, thank you. I got it. Uh, I said, no, no, thank you. I think I got it. You know, I'm not ever rude or whatever. I'm always, um, you know, trying to be polite or whatever. Because I also am in the service industry. So I go in the store and there's people standing smack in the middle of the aisle. They're not moving. I'm standing there for a couple seconds thinking like, hey, you know, hi, how you doing? You see me? Um, expecting for us to catch eye contact and you move out the way. So they didn't move. So I said, excuse me. Nobody moves. I said, excuse me. So there's a salesperson, like three people, they're trying to figure out color. Here's the thing about, and I'm not going to say this about all Sally's, but the particular Sally's that I go to, they are not hairdressers, so they don't know nothing about hair products. They sell them, but unless they use them the, themselves and it's something that they like, they won't recommend it to you. And really, they have no no knowledge of, of how to, okay, recommend stuff. And like I said, I'm not saying this about all Sally's, so don't come for me in the comments. I'm saying about the one that I go to. And this has been over the years. I worked at the shop that I'm at for at least the last five years. And over the years, it's been different girls, same situation. They're not knowledgeable about the products. So me being a stylist for the last almost 17 years of my life, 17, 18 years of my life, um, you really can't tell me about products unless you're knowledgeable. So like, when you say, oh, maybe you should use this. Well, no, I know what I like to use. I use it. It works. Blah, blah, blah. Like, you're not going to change my mind about stuff. Um, especially if I I'm not saying that you're not going to change my mind. But especially if I know that you're not knowledgeable, I'm not going to listen to you. It's like a mechanic trying to explain to me why he likes to use a certain tool to repair a catalytic converter. And I only know a little bit about a catalytic converter. I can't tell that man something better if I don't know better. Okay? So, anyway... The girl says, hi, welcome to Sally's. I say, hi, how you doing? She says, is there anything I can help you find? I say, I think I got it, but thank you. Okay, just like that, very polite. So they went move out the way, so finally, like, excuse me. So the girl's like, oh, what can I help you find? What are you looking for? And I said, um, let me get that L'Oreal Blanc. When I'm in a, in a bind and I'm trying to hurry up and grab some bleach, because I'm, this is the thing, I'm only doing uh, the top of my son's hair. He's got like a box fade, so we tip the ends of his box fade blunt like back in the 90s think think Kwame but not as well placed it's kind of messy so that when he does a sponge and a chunky style it looks really neat okay alright so basically my thing is I know what I'm doing so she's like have you ever thought about using blah 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 and I said you know what just give me that quick blue right there please because she was reaching for the product and I said if you can just give me that quick blue right there and I said that bottle of developer and I, um, she says, um, yeah, sure. So she hands me the developer. I said, oh, thank you. I appreciate it. So then I asked her, I said, is this the smallest bottle you got? Because here's the thing. I don't need a new bottle of developer, but I forgot to pack the stuff I'm going to do my son's hair with when I left home. And um, this evening, he is spending the night with his grandparents so that he can get to school on time and I can get to work on time. Because uh, school starts tomorrow. So anyway, so I, I, I forgot to take all the stuff over there. I'm not going all the way back home because I'm telling you, 
I'm dead tired. Once I hit my door, it's over with. Nobody's getting a haircut, color, nothing. So I go buy salads. I got the stuff. So then I'm like, um, is this the smallest bottle of developer you have? Because I just need a little mini bottle, right? She says, yeah, um, but we have other brands. And I said, oh, okay, I know, but I just, you know, I just wonder, is this the smallest bottle of this brand? And she said, no, no, no. So then I said, where are your brushes? And because they kind of move stuff around. So I did ask her, I said, where are your brushes? And where are your gloves? And I said, oh, never mind. I said, they in the back, right? Because I remember it's been a while since I've been in Sally's. I usually shop at a uh, professional store called Cosmoprof, and Cosmoprof is a store for people that are licensed. Mm, excuse me for yawning, y'all. I apologize. But you're not allowed to actually shop in um, Cosmoprof unless you have a license. You can't buy anything from there without a license. That's why it's called Cosmoprof. You know, uh, cosmetology professionals, basically. Anyway, when I'm in a pinch, I go to Sally's because there's not a Cosmoprof close to where I was at. Uh, they're kind of like there's one down the street from my house but I'm not by my house so anyway I said oh yeah they're in the back and I said thank you and so I go in the back and I get what I need so then I go well I go to the back and I get what I need and I end up coming back down the middle hour to be poor. as I'm coming around the corner the girl that was at the register this chick has left the register and is coming around the corner to me is there something I can help you with and I was like, no, I got it. Thank you. And I felt like kind of pressed because several times, because I'm really downplaying it, but several times when I was in that store, it's like, can I help you? Can I help you? I felt like the black girl at Macy's that's by herself. Like, I remember I used to go to JCPenney's and like Carson's and Marshall's back in um, Chicago with my mom. And I remember sometimes my mom would be shopping for something for her, and she would be like, go pick out some clothes in the, in the teenage, whatever, in juniors that you think you might like. Take us to the dressing room, I'll meet you in there. So one time I went over to the, like the, um, the, the, um, the juniors area, and I was just looking at some stuff, and I was looking for my size. I must have been about 16. This woman was like, can I help you? And I was like, no, I'm just looking. And she was looking around like, um, you know, like five minutes later. Hey, is there something I can help you find? Are you finding your size okay? And I'm like, no, I'm just looking. And I remember telling my mom about it. And my mom was like, yo, it's because you're a young black girl in the store. Here's, I felt like that today. But here's the twisted thing. The people that were kind of hounding me while I was in this super small Sally's that has 50 billion cameras. I'm not stealing anything. I didn't have a bag with me or nothing. I have pockets on my pants, but they're so small. They literally, own, I'm only able to fit my tip money in my in my pocket. That's how small they were. I literally had my cash, my keys, and my um my phone in my hand when I walked in the store. I had no bag. I'm, I wasn't putting like I had one of a loose fitting t-shirt and some um they're not leggings. They're like kind of like those fitted joggers. I have nowhere to put anything, ma'am. What, what are you doing? And there's 50 million cameras in here. So like, what? Why are you? Yeah. So it just felt very aggressive, like. Hey, she might steal something. Follow her. So then I get to the thing, and I'm like, I'm ready to check out. So I go check out, and the girl's like, Would you like a bag? Now, mind you, this is these are the products that I have, and y'all tell me in my tripping. I had a small bottle of developer, a packet of bleach, a brush, a pack of two brushes, some gloves, processing caps. I think that's all I got. But I have like five or six out items. So you're asking me, do I want a bag? And I'm looking at her like, huh? I said, I'm, I'm sorry. And she says, well, do you want a bag? I said, yeah. I said, are y'all charging for bags or something now? She's like, well, the bags are so big, we always ask if people want one. I have, I have five, I, oh, I forgot I had a bowl too. So I had a bowl, a brush, a packet of bleach, a small bottle of developer, um, a pack of brushes and some gloves. Oh, and the thing of processing caps. So I had like eight, seven, eight, seven items. And you asked me, do I want a bag? No, I'm going to gather these up in my arms and carry them out of the store. So then, of course, you can really say that I'm stealing something. I didn't say that, but that's what I was thinking. Like, I kind of got an attitude like, Fuck you. what you mean? Do I want a bag? 
I almost cut, sorry. Um, but anyway, so she puts the items in the bag and she asked me like twice, hey, would you like to sign up for a Sally's rewards card? I said, no, thank you. And then I said, do I have any Sally's points? If you go to Sally's, you know, you have, you get a free Sally's card and the more you shop there, the more you get points. So, you know, it's, it's been a rewards thing for years. Um, when you're a hairstylist and there's a Sally's near your shop and you want to get in and get out, a lot of times that helps you cut a couple of corners, save a couple of points, okay? So, I said, I just want to make sure my points were applied. She said, oh, they're automatically applied. So, um, she gives my total. I pay her in cash. She said, oh, cash. She said, you sure you don't want a report card? I said, I'm very sure. I, do, I said, I really don't shop in here that often. I let her know then because I started to get irritated. I said, I really, most of the time I shop in Cosmo Pro, I'm just running here real quick. Like, I'm trying to let you know in the nicest way I don't want this freaking credit card. And you even asked me, like, during the transaction, which I know that's part of your job to plug these credit cards and to upsell. I work in pretty much the service industry. I work in a salon that is is uh, uh, like a corporate entity. So, I get it. You're supposed to upsell. You're supposed to recommend. You're supposed, you know, make sure that person is taken care of completely. I get it. But I told you several times, I'm just done with card. I've told you several times while I've been in the store. No, I'm good. I don't want that product. I want this one. Like, I know what I want. Just let me get my stuff and go. So now I'm getting irritated. Because I feel like you just, like, on me, like, why don't rice? And it's like, I came in there by myself. I didn't have no bag. I didn't, I didn't have anywhere to put anything to steal. And, like, I felt like they were treating me like I was trying to steal something. And then you want to pressure me to, to, to get a credit card. But you really didn't care about the service itself. And then I was looking over at the counter when I checked out. And I said, hey, uh, do y'all still carry Kaleidoscope products? If you know about um, Kaleidoscope, um, Judy, uh, I think her last name is Depart. Um, um, she is the owner and CEO of um, Kaleidoscope products. Um, she, is, she and her wife, um, Debrat have their own like reality show about their relationship and her business and Brett's um, 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 you know music industry business as well as Brett being a radio personality both very successful women shout out to Chicago what up Brett um, but I've been following Judy since way before they even got together I've been following Judy like for years because I just thought she was lit like I love their whole crew like I think she's she and um oh god my brain like um the young lady that that um uh, put together the crayon cake like they all from new orleans that uh uh well they all from louisiana let me not claim where they from but they all from louisiana and they're all successful in building businesses and whatever if you not checked out the crayon case it's like a, um, a makeup palette that is super dope um but yeah so I asked her, did she have these Kaleidoscope products? Because in the last year or so, Kaleidoscope has gotten to the point where it is a brand name that's like, it's Sally's Target. I think they had Sally's Target. Um, I'm not sure where else, but I know those are two of their main retailers. There are several retailers though. And I always like to keep their, um, she has these uh, miracle drops, like these, these hair growth drops. Um, and they, they help with hair growth. And I've definitely seen them make a difference in my head. Okay. So I looked over there. And while I'm looking, the girl's like, what's Kaleidoscope? Let me tell you something. If you are a black girl. And you don't know what Kaleidoscope is. And you work in Sally's, which is one of their major retailers. I said, I'm, I'm sorry. You're not aware of what Kaleidoscope is. Because that was Kaleidoscope. The, 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 the miracle drops. The hair drops. Yo, I had to go to like three different Sally's when they first came out to go get them. One, because I really love Judy's way of doing business. I respect her as a hair boss. Um, she been at it for a while. And for her to build a company, like I was like, I want to try this product. I want to support, you know, a black female CEO doing it on her own terms. And then to get the product and see that it's dope and like it moisturizes my scalp. I can put on at night. It's light. It doesn't make my hair greasy. No, this is not a uh, promo or nothing like that. But it's just a dope product, and I like it. So I recommend it to other people. Um, for this black girl not to know 
what this product is and like just look at me like I had three heads like for you not to know what kaleidoscope is that's like you saying I don't know what lusters is that's like you saying I don't know what organic root stimulator is yo you might as well just say Carol's daughter who is that like I mean that's how I felt about it because like kaleidoscope is just that popping their edge control like they are popping and in last year or two, they have really... That's like you saying you don't know who Camille Rose is. I mean, if you work in a um, beauty supply, especially a major beauty supply like that, you, you like, what? So, I was like, oh, I see the products I said, but I see you're sold out of them. Shout out to Judy. Um, but yeah, it just, it just wasn't a good look. It wasn't a good experience. I was ready to get the heck up out of there. I was very annoyed. And I try to be real even kill y'all. Y'all know I'm real silly. Well, but y'all don't know, but you will get to know me as, as these vlogs keep coming in. But I'm pretty silly. I like to have a good time. I like to laugh. And I'm pretty lighthearted with things. But things like that irritate me. You follow me around the store. You try to pressure me to get a credit card. When I told you several times, no. I'm not interested. Thank you, but no. And then you're not knowledgeable about the products. Like walking in, like so. When I go in Sally's, I automatically, especially. Let me rephrase that. Not when I go in Sally's. When I go into that Sally's, I already have the feeling you can't help me. There's nothing you can do to help me. I'm a licensed professional, and you're not knowledgeable. And I'm not saying that like the people that work there are less than, but that's just the truth. They're not knowledgeable about what what I need so you can't help me like I said it's like a mechanic if I tell a mechanic how to do his job I ain't no mechanic I know a little bit about cars but not enough so I can't instruct a mechanic on how to do his job the same way if he's not knowledgeable about hair he can't tell me how to do mine so but yeah I just wanted to share that with y'all because that was weird because both of the girls that were in there were black and I got the same feeling that I did when I was 16 in the department store of the white lady following me, somebody can I help you? Can I help you? Can I help you? Do you need some help? You need to find some sizes? Like, you find everything okay? Like, breathing down my neck. That's how I felt. So, I don't know if maybe Sally's is now, I don't, I don't know how y'all get paid, if y'all working on the commission or whatever. But, yo, um, that ain't the way to get it. The way to boss up and get commission from me, baby, is to be knowledgeable about your product. And if I'm using something to politely mention, hey, this is how this can benefit you because this is better because blah, blah, blah. Not just to try and upsell something because it costs more. That ain't going to work on me because I actually have a license and I actually know what I'm talking about. But anyway, I have pulled up here at the crib. Um, I'm about to do my son's hair and um, I'm actually going to have y'all come with me for the process. So be back in a second.